This thing can fly in this direction or it can fly in this direction. It doesn't care. Right? It can fly sideways, it doesn't matter. So they're going to slow down. The thing's going to tilt, and naturally it's going to start moving that way. So now if I want to stop going that way, what do I have to do? Um, the, make the back propellers fast slower. Slower, or speed up the front ones, right? And I'm going to, get that, I'm going to reverse myself, reverse that action. Lock in on the satellites. So if there's a big wind, this thing might move across the sky. If it has GPS fix, it knows already that it's in the wrong place, it's just going to go back. Otherwise, it needs those other sensors to go, oh, I started moving and I didn't expect it. And try to get back. They just don't like it. You know what I mean? They don't know much about it. They're, un they're uneducated. The FAA is uneducated about multi-rotor flight and FTP. And people fear what they don't know and, and they're like, we got to regulate them. There's common sense things you should and shouldn't do with these vehicles. And as I've said to numerous people now, if you're really interested, go buy one of these for 40 bucks and learn to fly it. And only when you can fly this fairly reliably in your house without hurting your cat or yourself or something else, then go spend money on something bigger and more sophisticated. I hit a tree and that happened. But it still flies perfectly, so. That was the scare of my life. <laughs>